Well, good morning, webmasters. Uh, today I thought I'd post a brief introduction about who I am as uh, your instructor and a little bit of advice for the course. All right, here's uh, a photograph of me that was taken a couple of years ago when I wasn't in my pajamas. Uh, working from home, I seem to seldom stray from my PJ pants these days. This is my family. This is my husband, uh, Jason Shackles. This is my son. Uh, this is my house down here. It's covered in snow at the moment of recording this. These are my two kids. This is Ian and Jafel. She's 12 and he's 9. Here's me behind my camera. This is the Canon 50D. I also have a Canon XSI Rebel. This is my uh, lens baby, which is a tilt-shift lens. I am a bit of photographer and a digital imaging expert. And whenever you are a digital imaging expert, you get to do fun things like this. Uh, put the goldfish inside of a glass ball and enhance the colors. I really enjoy Photoshop and I teach it from time to time. I am certified through Adobe as an expert in imaging. I've also helped develop the other certification tests for Adobe for their associate level. Uh, here's one of my kitty cats. I love my little cats. This is Chuck Norris. And of course the stamps are photoshopped on. I won't waste money on my little cats. It's my favorite kitty, Shakespeare. Again, uh, this is kind of a joke with my friends about not being able to give my kitty cats away. Here's my cats. That's uh, Meatwad and Frylock. And if you watch some cartoons, you would probably recognize those names. All right, what else do I have for you? Uh, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Oh, yeah, last picture. This is Ed Proctor, and you probably know him. He is the dean of the business department, and he's also my boss. If I'm not around and you need a signature, say if you need a signature on a drop slip and you can't get to me because I am in Missouri, you can have Mr. Proctor sign it. He'll be happy to do so. And uh, he can solve most things. If you need help with Dreamweaver in particular or web design, you can drop me an email or a, a screenshot and I will try to get back to you promptly. I'm usually at my computer. I check email probably a hundred times per day, so I will get your email very, very quickly. So let me tell you a little bit about me. Let's see if I can go back. Uh, now I'm a little goofy. I really like science fiction. Uh, Doctor Who is my favorite right now, but I like Star Trek, Star Wars. I love computers and technology, and I spend a lot of time on that sort of thing. I'm a photographer, like I said. I've taught for about six years. I've taught computer repair. I'm a CompTIA A plus certified tech, along with my CompTIA INET plus and a few other ones. I got those quite a bit uh, well, about 10 years ago. Uh, I'm a web designer and webmaster. And let me surf out here and I'll show you one of the sites I built most recently. And this is a, a massively large site. The photographs on this site, almost all of them, I have taken. Uh, this layout, everything on here, well, not that, because I want to stuck the image down there. But this is all me. Uh, I did all of this. This webmaster link used to go to me. And what happened is I got really sick at some point, and uh, I eventually I went part-time, and then I had to go... And I, I actually ended up quitting. They were going to let me work from home, but uh, I was going to have to take a heck of a pay cut because they're going to do it on 1099 status. And I'll be teaching you uh, along the way what 1099 means and what a freelancer. And uh, I took these this photograph. I took that one too. Um, what all that means and what it means to be a webmaster. In memory of Delbert Warren, that's my grandpa. Uh, I really like this site. Everything about Crowder.edu, I, I put a little bit of myself into it. And there's lots of different sections to this site, and there's lots of little sub-sites. 
they made me put this in here over the top of that, which I absolutely hated doing. Uh, but, you know, sometimes, it, a lot of, most of the time, you're told to do things that you might not actually want to do for a lot of reasons. But this is some of my work. And some people will say, oh, there's too many links or this or that. But, you know, uh, everybody's critic. And again, uh, my photographs. I had a really good time and I got paid very, very well for building this website. Usually a website like this, you would have to hire a coder, a developer, and a designer. They kind of lucked out because I'm all three. They didn't know they were lucking out and they didn't know what all they got in the, in the package whenever they hired me. I think they kind of suspected um, but they got a, a lot out of their six months that they hired me. A lot of times, website rebuildings uh, take a couple of years, two or three years at least. And I did this in uh, about six months from start to finish. And I really like the vet techs. Uh, I took all these photographs. I went and saw them spade a, a kitty cat. And uh, it was just a lot of fun. I really enjoy building websites. I, I like getting to talk to people. I got to meet all these folks over here. Uh, very good people, great program, and uh, just a lot of fun. And I put the Google site search on the entire site. And not, my pages don't all look alike. And that's something that I kind of had to, well, usually in web design they say make everything consistent, make everything look alike. It, it does have some consistency to it, but, uh, you know, there's a couple of reasons on why things don't look... Some parts of the site I started before other parts of the site. And when I first started, I didn't know I'd be rebuilding the entire website. I thought I'd be rebuilding some sections, and I was asking them, what do you want to do with this? What do you want to do with the sections? And they're like, just use your creativity, come up with something. So it doesn't all match, but, you know... I kind of like it like that. I think it's more interesting. This nursing was the last section that I built before leaving. So anyway, this is pretty fun because I know most of the people on here, a lot of these pictures I took, I didn't take the ones on this page, my uh, friend Cindy did. Uh, a word of advice if you've made it this long through this video, don't get overly excited. I have a lot of students and they kind of start to panic the first couple of weeks of the class. And they're like, oh, this technology and it's code. And they get overwhelmed by the concept that they're going to be building these websites. Web design is fairly simple. Even if even something like this, once you break down the components, it's like building something with Legos. You know, the finished castle might look, you know, pretty darn complex. But once you break things down into their parts, it becomes simpler and simpler. Uh, don't freak out. Take a deep breath. Relax. If you need me to talk you through something, I am more than happy to do that. I'll tell you to relax. I'll try to start out our conversations in the videos with, you know, relax. Take a deep breath. It's not the end of the world if you don't get it right away. Uh, it's okay. It's all right. And in web design and computer technology, you can't panic. That's one thing you can't afford to do. You can't get overly excited. You have to smile, take a deep breath. And part of that is when you deal, you have to deal with a lot of people, especially if you're the webmaster. And if you panic, everybody panics. So relax, have fun with it. If you do something kind of creative and out there, I'm going to reward you extra points. I'm not going to get uptight about it. I'm a very relaxed person. So have fun, enjoy the class, and if you have questions, uh, let me know. Oh, I guess I could add, I did do a little bit with the northart.edu site back in the day. I can't get that site to load up in under a minute these days. I think there's a problem with the server. But um, I did, so a lot of the pictures and stuff on the northart.edu site are mine too. And that's a, a different story entirely. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the class. And uh, I look forward to meeting you.